used to break down barriers and create a more civilised discourse in an increasingly splintered Israel society. The latest campaign is called the Israeli Discourse Treaty and the CEO of Darkenu, Polly Bronstein, is here with me in studio to tell us all about it. Polly, thank you for joining me. But before we talk about the, the campaign, let's talk about Darkenu. What is the idea behind it? So the Kenu is the largest grassroots movement in Israel. We started it about three years ago after the last elections, understanding that Israel is divided between different tribes and identities, and there's no politics of consensus. Nobody's working together, breaking the paradigms of left and right, working together with secular and religious and Arabs and Jews to find what we have in common and then promoted in politics. So we started a, a movement, the Kenu, that is supposed to organize the moderate majority. We believe there is a moderate majority in Israel. I, I'll tell you more. We think that 80% of Israelis can agree on most principles and values and agenda for the future of Israel. I think that's but the, probably correct. But the fact is that the politicians are so uh, busy, you know, dividing us, telling us that we're different, that we have different, because it helps them. It doesn't help Israel. And so the Kenu already has a database of 280,000 Israelis, and they come from all different tribes. And the idea is to mobilize them, to raise a voice, for the consensus, for the things that we have in common, our shared values. Well, you said that there, you know, everyone comes from so many different tribes and this is to kind of prove that you all are one. What are the different political and social groups that are involved and make up the initiative? So the new initiative was not initiated by me alone or Darkenu alone. We started it with a partner called Oded Ravivi. He's the mayor of a settlement called Efrat. Now, specifically, Oded and I don't come from the same tribe, right? I'm from Tel Aviv, and he's from a settlement called Efrat. I am secular, he's religious. I am pro two states, and he's, I guess, for annexation of the West Bank. But we did agree on one thing, that the dialogue between us the groups, the different groups, is toxic. It's full of incitement and boycotts and delegitimization. And if we don't take care of our discourse, the discourses, and say what are the rules of the game, we will never be able to promote Israel and advance it. And so we started this initiative called the, the, um, uh, the we call it the Charter, uh, the Israeli Discourse Charter or, um, or treaty. treaty. And uh, we said we're not going to do it alone. We're going to ask other organizations to come and join us. We created a coalition of 20 different Israeli organizations, some of the biggest organizations in Israel. All like organizations that have the same message and wanting to... One message, but come from a very wide spectrum in terms of politics. So you can find there Bnei Akiva, which is a religious Zionist uh, youth movement, but also the Israeli scouts. And women wage peace, but they're religious uh, kibbutzim. You can find there uh, organizations that come from different angles, all saying one thing, we have to write together the treaty. And another thing I want to add, Perfect. we haven't written the treaty ourselves. Actually, this now, uh, all over Israel, we're having discussions with Israelis from all sorts and kinds, and we have an ice cream truck going around Israel and asking to cool down the discords, have an ice cream, but tell us what you think the treaty should be like. And once it's, uh, we have all the information from all Israelis, then we're going to write it together. So it, it has uh, credibility and it comes really from the Israelis, from all tribes. So has the treaty been written yet? Exactly. So it hasn't been uh, written. We are going to write it at the end of the summer. The summer is a tour. It's basically all over Israel. Uh, and once the tour is over, we're going to sit down one day in the Hartman Institute, all 20 organizations, and write it down. We want something very short, very clear to be, you know, to be helpful for decades. I want in 10 or 20 years for every Israeli to know, to remember that there is a treaty. I want the, you know, the teacher at school to have lessons about it. I want the officer in the army to teach his soldiers. I want it to be used in the Knesset and I want all Knesset members to sign that. Uh, but it only has an effect if we're all writing it together. It doesn't come just from one organization on one side of the aisle. Absolutely. And this there are so many groups out there who are wanting to sort of, ha you know, they all have this same agenda and doing similar initiatives. What makes your group different? Is it the fact that you're all working as one? First of all, the f all of these organizations that are working for the same goal, we called them and said, join our coalition, and they did. And so one unique thing is that we are 20 different organizations 
very, very big ones, working together for this goal. So that's one thing that is very unique. The second is we're not aiming at writing it ourselves. We have all the Israeli public writing it together. I think that's another thing that is unique. And the last thing, I think, I hope it's okay to say, we're aiming at something very, very big. Like, we want to have a very large campaign. Already it's a very large campaign, and it's continuing to be. We have very big Israeli donors uh, behind us, very big organizations. That's We're amazing. aiming at uh, changing Israel, not... Fingers crossed. I hope everything works out for you, Polly Bronstein. Thank you so much.